Hey everybody, happy Friday. We've made it to Friday. Um, it is day seven, I have to think, day seven of 12 days of Christmas projects. And it has finally happened. One of the bundles I picked has sold out <laughs> before I could use it. I was so, you know, last night at I don't know, 10.30, I checked, still in stock. I thought, okay, we're good. Everything's ready for today. And then this morning I checked and the stamp set has sold out. So we're just gonna move forward. We're gonna still do these projects. Um, the punch, the handmade, what's it called? Handmade punch? That doesn't sound right. The punch is actually carrying over. It's gonna be in future catalogs. So it's still available, but the stamp set, there's not. The French version is, if you want the French version. <laughs> um, but I think today's projects, you could, um, if you don't already have the stamp set, you could use lots of things that you already have. Um, really, we're using the words and the little outlines that you don't necessarily have to use with a punch. So we're going forward with it. This happened last year too. I remember um, one, I don't remember what it was, but one bundle sold out like the night before I was going to use it. So we're moving forward. Don't at me, as they say. <laughs> I know it's sold out. Um, before I flip the camera over, I've got a few reminders. Thank you to um, Cindy, who emailed me today and said, um, the Hues of Happiness PDF, I can't find it. This is this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle PDF, and I had not put it in my PDF store. I missed the blog hop this week. Christmas, you guys. And if you look behind me, all, I mean, I have so much that I'm working on. This is the calendar class, getting ready for that. Club Create, I finished sorting and cutting that yesterday. So my mind is just, blah. I'm trying to get everything done by next Friday so that then I can, you know, enjoy Christmas with my family. Um, my kid's last day of school is Friday. But anyway, hello. This is now in the PDF store. This is this month's all-star tutorial bundle called the Hues of Happiness. It's 12 video tutorials all featuring the Hues of Happiness suite. It is not Christmas. I know some of us are done with Christmas um, and we want to do other things, um, but this will take you into the spring for sure. My project this month is a pop-up gift bag inside of a card. You might have seen that before. It's really cute. Holds a gift card holder. Um... We start a new six month period or round of all-star tutorial bundles in January. So the subscription period will open towards the end of the month. If you wanna to subscribe to the all-star tutorial bundle, when you subscribe, you get one month for free. Otherwise, you if you're a customer with me and you shop, you get it for free when you spend $50 with me. Um, it's also available in my PDF store for $15 for those of you that are already a demonstrator or you already have a demonstrator. Um, so that is that. Thank you, Cindy, for bringing that to my attention. Sometimes I wonder about myself. <laughs> um, I still have adhesive kits left. Um, the, I have a lot of adhesive kits. Um, the kit includes stamp and seal, tear and tape, dimensionals, glue dots, and Tombow. All the five must have adhesives in my opinion. Um, the first 50 also had a free crystal effects but all of that is gone and I have ordered some snowfall puff paint to include in the next round of adhesive kits so if you would like an adhesive kit check out my store at the top of my blog there is a uh, drop down menu that says um I'm trying to pull you guys up I just realized I haven't pulled you up there's a drop down it says shop drop down it says past class kits you'll find it also at the bottom of today's blog post there's a picture of an adhesive kit and you just click on it. It'll take you to the store. All right. I'm going to flip you guys around. Let me make sure I've got you in the right place. I hate when I let me make sure my volume is all the way down. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Don't you hate hearing your own voice? Okay. Let me flip you guys around. Um, all right. So you guys might have seen, hold on while I get this situated. You guys might have seen, um, I got Club Create for, what's what's next month? For January up and ready. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek here in just a second. Let me get everything situated. Um, 
turn this around. Okay, good. I can see you guys. Move this out of the way. Um, where should I start? Let's start. Let's start here. Um, the calendar class. This is the 2023 calendar class to go. The class kit will include 12 calendar pages. And you can do anything you want with these calendar pages. But my intention is that they sit you know, like that on a little, just a little wooden easel on a desk. You could also put a magnet on the back, put them on like your fridge, your filing cabinet, whatever. Um, there are 12 different calendar pages and that guy's out of order. They feature stamp sets that I have used in either Club Create, um, Class to Go, or Facebook Fridays over the last year. If you don't have the stamp sets, the bundles that I feature on each one, um, you can add them to your kit or you guys, you're good at this. You can substitute things that you have. Um, this is a big class. It will take you a while. I know some people put them together all at once and some people put them together at the beginning of each month. Um, but all the paper is there for you. Any die cuts that you need, like the scalloped Rectangle will be there for you. You're gonna get twine, heart pearls, and a whole pack of DSP. Another bundle, oh, this is the calendar. I mean, this is the stamp set you need to actually make your calendars. This is a really cool stamp because however you situate it on your ink pad, it, it will do whatever the month is. You just, it looks confusing, but the PDF has a video to show you how easy it is. And you'll be able to use this for years. Um, but you'll need this, of course, for all 12. I use the Season of Chic on three different pages. So there's that. And then I use Celebrating You, some of the sentiments, um, on three or four of the pages. Um, so you can add those on too. But again, you can also just, you know, use what you have. This kit, the deadline is Wednesday. Um, I've also put a limit on the number of kits that I will sell because I've already started cutting them. I want to, I would ideally like to have them in the mail by next Friday. I don't know if that'll happen. It may be the following Monday or Tuesday, but it'll be something for you to do after Christmas. It won't arrive in time for Christmas for sure, um, but it's something for the new year. Okay, so if you need the registration for that, you have to email me or go back to some emails that I've sent in the past. They're all, every email that I send out or every you know, mass email, I send out the information for that is there. You can also scroll to the bottom of today's post and there is a little picture of it. Click that, go to that page. It'll give you all the details because there is a lot of details for this class. And hey, you guys have been sending me a lot of amazing things in the mail. Just so you know, I'm going to save it all till next Friday and then I'm going to show you all of it. Um, I thought about showing you today, but then I'll forget what I've shown you. So you guys... If you've sent me a Christmas card, thank you. I can't wait to show you. All right, I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, let's see. Did I miss any questions? I don't think so. Um, yeah, Jill, I don't know. You know, that's a Facebook thing. I, I wish I knew how to tell you to turn on notifications. They keep changing, changing, changing everything. I can't keep up, it's crazy. Um, here is the Share a Milkshake uh, Club Create for January. Look how stinking cute this bundle is. You, if you have ordered with me in the last year, you're going to be getting a catalog sometime this month. Usually it's more towards the end of the month. Shipping is insane right now, just so that you guys know, especially if you order from Stampin' Up. It is taking them seven to ten days just to get your order in the mail. Then... <laughs> then it is off in the wild world of shipping during December. So everything is on the slow boat. Everybody's just got to be patient. We know, we've learned. But this will be in that catalog, that catalog that's coming to you. Um, it's called Share Milkshake, and it's so cute. Look at this die. It makes a waffle cone. I mean, so cute. This die right here does the um, ice cream, and it puts a little slit in it so that you can slide the straw or the spoon in it. 
I mean, so clever. So I use that to make this next month's Club Create projects. There will be four cards and a um, candy bar slider. I found milkshake candy bars. Yes, I did, um, which I was like, hello, that's perfect. Um, so this is for next month. If you are not, um, I've lost the straw for that one. Boo, let's get the other one because it's cuter with a straw. If you... That one doesn't have a straw either. Maybe I didn't put a straw on it. Oh, no, I didn't put a straw on it because it has a cherry. It's an ice cream cone. You don't need a straw for an ice cream cone. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. Um, if you would like to subscribe to Club Create, you have all the way until January 7th to subscribe for January's Club Create. It's $39 a month. You get um, roughly $20 in product um, plus five make and takes a video and a PDF, and that includes shipping. So if you're interested, check the Club Create tab at the top of my blog for details and email me. It's a subscription. Um, you sign up for however many, you know, sign up. It'll charge you each month on the same day that you subscribe. You can cancel any time. But if you stay for six months, you get a $25 product credit, which is really fun um, as a thank you from me. Okay, so there's January. My Club Creators are always anxious to see let me, I'm running out of space to put things. You're always anxious to see what we got. Okay. Um, paper pumpkin this month is cute. I've showed you guys. If you need a box, I've got a couple extras. Uh, let me know. Makes awesome gift tags. I've already used several of them. Emma had a secret Santa exchange and something else. We, we just stuck it right on there and it was perfect. So um, if you are in need of this, let me know. I worry a little bit about shipping but it's always good to have even for next year um this coming um this coming up paper pumpkin the, the subscription why can i never remember somebody will tell us is it the ninth or the 10th somebody tell us subscription in period for the january paper pumpkin is coming up <laughs> I wish I knew it. It's either, is it today? Is t today's the night. It's my daughter's 20th birthday, you guys. How am I old enough to have a 20-year-old? It actually makes me feel sick to my stomach. Judy, thank you, Judy. The 10th. So you have until tomorrow to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Okay, so I'm going to remember that by that it's always the day after Ellie's birthday. That's It's not the 9th. It's the 10th. Okay. Hopefully, it's burned into my memory. But anyway, <laughs> January's... No, no. Scratch that. That's this month's paper pumpkin. December's paper pumpkin is cute little, they're little gift card holder boxes. And there's this extra little, like these little envelope card things that you can use to turn them into cards if you want to add that on. Um, but anyway, subscription period ends tomorrow. And then I can't wait to see what January's kit will be because that'll be Valentine's for sure. They always do Valentine's in January. Okay. How about some prizes? We have prizes from day five, Danielle Mueller. Thank you so much for entering to win. I'm gonna get this out to you next week. Um, day six, hopefully I'm getting that right. Uh, Kim Siriana, sweet candy canes. Kim, thank you so much for watching and joining me. Here is Grassy Grove. Fun fact about Grassy Grove, that's the prize for today. This was the best selling bundle from last year's spring catalog, which shocked me because I never used it one time. Uh, I would never have thought that, but they that's what Stampin' Up! said. It was the best selling bundle from last spring's catalog. I don't know, crazy. So anyway, if you would like to enter to win, go to my blog, pinkbucker.com. When I'm done today, I'll update, you know, up at the top or up at the top, wherever it is, um, with a link back to my blog post. Scroll down under the second photo. You'll see a little paragraph that says, click here to enter to win. I'm giving 12 bundles away, 12 different giveaways. Um, all you have to do is answer some silly Christmas question, like, I don't know what today's is. What's your favorite Christmas carol? I don't know. I can't remember what it is, but you do that, you give me your name and address in case you win only, and then I pick a random winner each time. Okay, so I'll pick this winner on Monday. Okay, I have cleared the desk. You guys, hopefully you checked out yesterday. What did we do yesterday? I have no idea, I don't remember. What was yesterday? Oh yeah, Window Wishes. You guys, I love this set. Um, Melody Hyde, who is a concept artist at Stampin' Up! did a little video. I think it was Melody or was it Cindy? One of the concept artists did a video. I think it was Melody where she 
cut the panes on a second one to put it in the middle like that. And so of course I was had to copy, it was so cute. But um, just make a little gift tag to put on our little craft box. I'm sure you guys got these during celebration in the summer. I have a ton of them, I'm gonna use them up. Um, and then the other project, do I have it? Oh yeah, here it is, was this one. All right, it has a little sentiment inside. So if you missed yesterday, that's okay. Just go back one blog post and you'll find it. The day before that was, what did we do? The day before that, oh yeah, was the um, jingle, jingle, jingle. Where's the card? Right here. These are the two projects. Somebody asked if the make and takes, the next round of make and takes were gonna be the Scotty. No, they're not. That's a great question. I'm gonna pick... I'm probably going to do this one and one from today, the 3D project from today. And then what are we doing on Monday? Maybe one from Monday. So then if you put in an order this week using the host code, you know, same thing by Monday at midnight, I'll give you, I'll send you three make and takes for free. Usually it's the three I make that Friday, but since I've been doing this every day, I'm going to pick three different projects for you and I'll send you the kits to make them okay and then next week i'm going to have a completely different ordering special so stay tuned for that i'm not going to cut make and takes the week of christmas hopefully you guys will forgive me i'm just not going to do it but i've got something even better planned i think you'll like it okay let's flip that down i've been filming videos my gosh my, i have been crazy busy you guys sometimes i forget to post on facebook and you might think I'm not doing anything, but I am in here sweating it out, cutting paper, die cutting, planning, typing, filming. It's just, it's a lot. So just know it's a lot. And I'm working for you guys all the time. <laughs> okay, so today is day what? What did we say? Seven. All right, handmade wishes. If you weren't here at the beginning and I told you it's sold out already, wah, wah, I know it's sold out. I told you guys. These are the ones you should order before they sell out. <laughs> no, in fairness, who knows what's going to sell out? You just never know. But the punch is carrying over. So the punch really is the star of the show. And you can use any sentiments with this punch the way we're going to use it today. Um, so if you didn't get the stamp set, there is a French. The French version is still available if you want to get these outlines. You might want to just order the French version and the little gingerbread boy. We are going to use him too, but that's up to you. If not, use what you got, right? But I do think you should get this punch for sure. So if I wasn't clear, all orders between this past Tuesday and this coming up Monday at midnight using this host code, over $35 will get a make and take packet in the mail from me next week. It will not be the Scotties. It'll be a mix of the projects we've done this week. I'll pick three. All right. And then Monday, we've got all bundled up. Then Joyful Flurry. I don't think that any of those are sold out. North Pole Mischief. And then I had Christmas Barn, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that one out, you guys. That is so outside of my wheelhouse. I don't know. I just keep looking at it and I've got no, no ideas. And then Sweet Gingerbread has sold out. So I'm going to change that because I haven't planned those projects yet. So I'm going to do something else there. I don't know what, but it'll be a surprise. And I'll probably wait <laughs> because things are selling out and I don't want to do anything else that's sold out. Okay, let's get started. So our first project is a card and I call this a flip card. I don't know if that's the right name, but several years ago we had a die that did this right? It would cut this out for you. And we don't have that anymore. But I wanted to make this. And I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really quite easy. Um, and I just realized I did not get out the New Year's stamps. I'm gonna have to do that. Now this has sold out. I've got a substitute for you. Okay. All right, let's do the cutting first. Now I've got to, everybody's got to be quiet. I've got to concentrate <laughs> while I do this, because I don't want to mess it up. You're gonna need a card base. You know, usually my card bases are like this with a fold up here, but for this card, you're gonna need, you're gonna need your fold to be on the side, okay? And you know what? We have to add a score line to it. Um, on the front, whatever the front, whichever section is your front, you're gonna score it at two and an eighth. 
okay? It's got a smudge on it. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore the smudge. I'm just gonna ignore it. Let's see, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore it. I don't know what's happening. All right, so we're gonna fold that back. Now, what we wanna do, let's open it up so you can see. We wanna cut a half circle right here, okay? So get your cut and emboss machine and the largest circle die, all right? And you're gonna put it, just kind of center it right there on those two. Actually, before you do that, because I didn't do this the first time, and, it, and I thought, ooh, I need to do this first next time. Get your, your painted Christmas designer series paper. Put that on first, okay? Right there on that front flap. All right, so now that's what it looks like. Okay, open it up, take your circle and put it right here in the middle. Now, we don't wanna cut, we wanna just cut this right here, okay? We don't wanna cut any part of this. So what you wanna do, make sure it's centered, is take your cutting plate and set it right there, stopping where you want it to stop cutting, okay? So I'm just gonna come a little bit short of the score line. You have to you have to concentrate. Am I doing it right? I don't know. I can't remember. Hopefully I'm doing it right. Okay, hold on. Hold on. It wiggled. The other way you can do that, let me show you. You can flip it. No, I'm going to leave it like this. Mm, do I want to flip it? No. Okay. Hold on. I'm so nervous. I'm going to screw this up, you guys. <laughs> All right. You have to get it on here. Come on. You're embarrassing me. Stop. Circle. Stay there. This circle got a workout today. Cut 200 of these circles earlier today. <clears throat> All right, ready? Now, it slipped a little bit, so let's see if I can run it back. We want it just in like that. Come back, and there we go. All right, you guys, yeah, Gail, do you talk to your supplies too? All right, so see what we did there? Okay, so it only cut half a circle. I always worry I'm gonna screw that part up because if you put the plate on the wrong side, then you cut your circle on, you know, completely wrong. But I did it right, yay! <laughs> you just wanna make sure that your plate covers where you wanna cut and stop the plate where you want the cutting to stop. So that's what we did. We got a half circle and we're gonna trim that other half off like that, okay? So uh, I think I need to get it a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Oh gosh, did I just cut that too much? No, I didn't, okay, there we go. Oh, somebody's here. Sorry to your dogs and cats. I can hear there's like a delivery truck outside. At least he knew better than to come up to the door and then bark. Don't they know not to make deliveries between two and three? Someone is at the front door. <laughs> okay, moving on. Hopefully they don't need me. Let's see. Let me take a peek. Okay, he's leaving. It's FedEx. All right, now, why do I have two card bases? Because I thought I was going to screw up. That's why. So I told you the vellum. Um, <laughs> Pepper, Charlie, and Mac, I'll say hello. Um, I told you that the vellum was sold out. So instead, I got a piece of basic white in our wintry embossing folder. This is from the annual catalog. And I embossed that piece, two and a fourth by five and a fourth. It's very similar, and it works. You don't want anything too busy right here, okay? All right, so there's our card for right now. Now, let's stamp. And I didn't get myself any white cardstock. Hello. Here we go. Good thing my white cardstock drawer is right behind me. All right, we're going to stamp this cute little frame here and here. All right, and then let me look at my sample so I can remember what I did. We're going to take Merry Christmas. We're going to do Christmas right there in real red, and then we're gonna do Mary in soft suede right there. And then we have this cute little heart, and we're gonna stamp that right there. Merry Christmas, and then 
we're gonna just take these off and use the same blocks. I don't know why I didn't get these out already. I knew that happy, I was like, what did I use that happy for? You used it for Happy New Year, Erica, on the other side. So the same thing, New Year and Happy. Okay, and a little heart. All right, so there we have that. Do, 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 do. Here's our circle die. We don't need that anymore, but what we do need is our punch. All right, so we're gonna punch that one out and that one. This punch is really cool. I've seen a lot of people really creative ways, I feel, kind of out of the box, layering wise with this with this punch. It's really good. All right, so you're gonna start first with a large, real red scalloped circle, okay? The largest die. You're gonna center that right there. And then you're gonna get crazy with the dimensionals. We're gonna do lots of layers. First, we're gonna do a stitched real red circle. And then we're gonna do a blushing bride scalloped circle. And then last but not least, our sentiment, Merry Christmas, right there. I mean, isn't that adorable? So many layers, but you can't leave any of them out. They're so cute. Now turn it to the other side and do the same thing. All right, you only need one scalloped red, but you need two of everything else. Real red, stitched circle from the Stylish Shape dies, then a scallop, a Blushing Bride, and then our Happy New Year. Now, I was gonna try real hard not to forget any supplies today, but I already see that I forgot something, the bow. So hold on, got to show you this. I might have shown you guys this already. This is the um, silver threaded twine, and it is really easy to pull apart. So if you start to untwist it just a little bit, you can start to pull out the little threads. And then it's not so bulky for your card, but I feel like it's a little more rustic looking. See, look, it just starts to pull out real easy. I feel like it's um, more rustic looking than the, our linen thread, which you guys know I love our linen thread, but this just kind of feels a little more, I don't know, it has more texture. So two or three pieces, and then you just tie your bow. So you have kind of a curly, funky bow, and then you get your glue dots, and your scissors and you put that right there and there's your adorable yeah it's a little too funky a little too wild let's give it a haircut and there's your cute little flip card and you can write your sentiment right there see you don't have to write a whole bunch boop super cute right and that will fit in a regular envelope okay there we go what do you guys think i'm seeing no comments Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle says, the barn will be easy for you when you start it. Yeah, use, that's what you say. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, it's, it's one of those that's like intimidating to me. But, but maybe, we'll see. I, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still, still thinking about it. You want me to use it. You have the barn, Michelle? Do you have it? How many of you have that barn set? It hasn't sold out, has it? Please let it sell out so that <laughs> I can have an excuse. Oh, okay. Next project. You guys, I showed you, remember the um, Walmart picture? Gingerbread cookie. I thought it said cookie dough, but it's actually gingerbread cookie Kit Kats. They are delicious. I mean, how can they not be? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little holder for that. Teeny tiny. Look, I think this may be... Well, I don't know. 
I'm not going to commit yet to which projects I'm going to send this next week. I would like to send this one, but now that the stamp set is sold out, I feel kind of bad. I like the colors of that, that, um, that uh, packaging too. Okay, let's make this. This is really easy. Thanks, Donna. That's so sweet. Um, you have, you do, you have the barn, you have the barn. Oh no, the pressure is on. Pressure is on. I don't know, you guys. I, I'm feeling like I, I may, I just, I don't think I can pull it out. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> to make this, this kind of reminds me of like a little, I don't know, like a lipstick hole, like a little, you know, fancy little lipstick. I don't know why I think that, but that's what it reminds me of. You're going to need a piece of soft suede that is three by nine. And we're going to score the, the long side at one, four, five, and eight. And then the short side at one and two. Oh, you guys. Pressure. You know, the reindeer was really hard for me as well. That's that same um, style of stamp. And I liked what I came up with. But I feel like... I don't know. All right. Challenge accepted. We shall see. We shall see. Burnish the lines. I'm not making any promises. Burnish the lines and you want to cut the lines, the score lines on the long side. Okay. And then just cut off the corners. I'm going to do the corners right here like that. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Boop, boop, boop. Do you guys have holiday weekend plans? I thought we were going to have a kidless night here. One kid said they had a play to go to and another kid said they were going to a Bible study group. And then second kid said, oh, never mind. I have practice. So you have to pick me up at 530. <sighs> Thought we were gonna get off the hook tonight, but no, nope. not not yet, not yet. All right, so we've got that all ready, and we're gonna put a little bit of glue on each of these squares on the outside. It's too hot here for any holidays. I saw Denise is on here, right, Denise? It is just hot. It actually feels nice, like spring, but it doesn't feel like Christmas. It is muggy though, and I don't like muggy. All right, fold those in. How many of you have snow? Is it snowing places? Is it snowing up north? We're gonna have some really cold weather. <laughs> I laugh when I say that because I know you guys make fun of me. At the end of next week, they're saying in the 20s, well, one post I read said in the 20s and possible precipitation. So you know down here, that means everything will shut down if there's the least bit of precipitation below freezing. We do not know how to function in that. I, I'll believe it when I see it. They don't, they can't ever get it right. They just can't. They're wrong. It'll be hot. All right. So I'm using my clothes, clothes pins to hold those in. It's, <laughs> that's a lot of clothes pins for such a little piece, but that's how I hold them because I don't want to sit. Oh my gosh, Denise fit 16 inches in Northern Idaho. Uh, yeah, Denise says, I keep wondering why the Christmas tree is up because it's hot. It is. No snow in Colorado, rain in Ohio, snow in Minneapolis. Vicki, y'all have snow most of the time, don't you? <laughs> in Minneapolis. My husband travels to Minnesota a lot for work and, uh, He's always, you know, like, he's actually going next week. And he makes a big deal. It's going to be, it's going to be 12 degrees. I'm like, okay, you're going to be fine. One of these times I need to go with him. Go see how, 20, how cold it is. 20 is cold. Thank you. I agree, Patricia. It's cold. It's below, anything below freezing is cold. Okay, we're going to stamp the other outline in... Yeah, Vicky. Oh, and it gets dark real early, right? Up there in the north. All right, we're going to do craft white. Let's see if I can get it stamped. Oh, very nice. Very nice. 
Now we're gonna get white embossing powder. I've been using embossing powder a ton this week, like every project, and I spilt my black. We used black for something this week, and today when I went to get my white out, the black was all down in the bottom of my drawer. The thing was upside down, the lid was off. Yeah, that was not fun. Yeah, I would hate that it gets dark early too, Kimberly. Yeah, Denise, my husband will be fine. He, uh, you know, I mean, what is he going to be? He's going to walk to his car from the airport and walk to his hotel. I mean, please. My daughter, on the other hand, was sleeping out in the cold. That's a whole nother thing. And you know what? When my husband went to Montana in October, that freaked me out too. You know, when you don't have an escape from the cold... That's kind of scary. I am not built for that kind of weather at all. Right now I'm wearing flip-flops. For all you northerners, I have flip-flops on my feet. That's how we do winter down here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, punch. Where's the punch? It's back here. We're going to punch this out. Now, I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to stamp the sentiment on it like we did the other one. We're just gonna use it as a layer. But isn't that gingerbread-y? gingerbread -ish? What's the right word? Gingerbread-y? We're gonna stamp this little guy. Now, you guys, he's really small. And I'm a little annoyed that he doesn't have a die or a punch. But, you know, you really, you could just do a little tiny circle punch, couldn't you? I'm just gonna cut him out. He's, he's real small and he should have a die or a punch. All right, very, stay on the very outside of the image carefully. So my 20 year old is away at college and it's her birthday and I haven't really told anybody this but her boyfriend broke up with her over and it's been really awful. You know, her really long-term boyfriend, the one that we love and has traveled with us, whatever. Well, I won't get into that, but it's been a rough few weeks. So I wanted to make her birthday special. And I found this group at her college. It's called, they're the Baylor Bears. So it's called the Mama Bear Concierge. And they will basically do your shopping and your delivery for you. They were amazing. I don't know if all schools have that or if this is just something unique. Okay, I'm stamping for you with love on a stitched white banner, soft suede and real red. They, this woman texted me all week, going to the bakery, getting balloons, getting a little plant for her. She went and she was going to get apple juice because Ellie likes apple juice. I mean, like, wow, that what a nice service to have for parents that are far, you know, from their child for you with love and she delivered them today and it was cheap i'm like lady you should actually be charging more for this i was so impressed not that i want to pay more but i just couldn't believe so if you have a child at college you need to see if your college has that because i was super impressed um okay back to what we're doing real red stitched heart from the celebration tags dies but is sold out everything is selling out Banner, boop. Now we need a many dimensional. Many dimensional. And we'll put the little guy right there. All right, let's bring back our box. It, uh, she has finals today on her birthday. Two finals. That's not a fun way to spend your birthday. And she has to work. I said, well, you're 20 now. That's what adulting is like on your birthday. <laughs> you just... Keep doing the things that you do. It's not a whole lot of fun. She was like, uh, adulting. All right, these little pieces are three-fourths of an inch. That one looks like it's a little bit too skinny. Three-fourths of an inch by two and three-fourths. This is our Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. There is a new pack of Gingham paper called Country Gingham in the new spring catalog that's coming up. And it is adorable. You know, it's so adorable. Let's see, how did I put this on the end? I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, it was, I used it on those club projects I showed you. And I love it. I mean, 
Will I ever get tired of gingham? I don't know. What's going on with my dimensionals? None of them are coming apart. All right, so you put that right there. I put two Kit Kats in there. I think you guys saw that. And the ribbon that I just had a little, like four minutes ago is gone. Oh, here it is. Fell into the trash. <laughs> That's not a good place for it. And you just want to tie a little bow, real red, cotton ribbon. You guys, there is still some really good ribbon on the clearance rack. There is real red ribbon, 10 yards for $3. There's gorgeous grape ribbon, 10 yards for $2.30, I think. Make sure you check out those embellishments because they are awesome. And uh, I have ordered a ton of the retired embellishments because they are a steal. Okay, there you go, you guys. A little gingerbread Kit Kat. Cute, right? So cute and little and not too hard. Now, look, if you don't have the stamp set, you can still make this. You would just leave the white off the punch, just punch the soft suede. You use whatever sentiment. And then look, I'm sure you've got some kind of gingerbread something stamp somewhere. We've had gingerbread stamps every year, right? So, or order the French one. <laughs> I mean, you know. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. Only two projects, remember, because I'm doing two every day. Let's see, did I miss anything? Um, no goat this year. Patricia, funny, so last year, you guys, when she was a freshman, they had this goat. You could rent a baby goat in pajamas. And they would bring it over to their dorm, and they, she would have it for 30 minutes to play with. So that's what she got last year. And she texted me this morning, and she said, because I told her, make sure you're home between whatever, 12 and two. And she said, it's not a goat again, right? <laughs> then no, no, we're not doing that again. Um, the Carla, no, the cute little scissor charm was a gift from somebody. Part of it fell off, unfortunately, but it's still super cute, right? It's very cute. Um, I know Cliffy gingham is in, um, style forever. You know, when I was a kid, my mom was using gingham. So it's, it's a, it's been around for a long time. Okay, you guys. Yes, Michelle, the gingerbread man would be cute with that gingerbread house set. I agree. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll be live again on Monday um, at 2 o'clock. And I can't. I already forgot what we're doing. I forgot. And I don't know where the paper went. Here it is. Let's see. Monday is all bundled up. That's the moose, right? The little moose. Yeah, he's cute and the projects are cute. You guys have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye guys.